through the Global Fertilizer Challenge, the Norway Minister Wench Westberg said that they are looking to reduce emissions produced by fertilizer through new management. <laughs> This is uh, called, it's a new initiative uh, where Norway takes part along with other nations. Um, it's called the Global Fertilizer Challenge. We know that uh, for the, the, the situation on fertilizers is quite critical because of uh, the energy prices, because you need gas to produce fertilizer. At the, at the same time, we know that um, fertilizers, it produces emissions, which we want to reduce. But we need fertilizers to produce food, so we need to develop new management of fertilizers, simply use it in a smarter way. Uh, I do think that uh, we are learning from each other. Uh, for instance, here at Ilri, there's so much research being done, so many competent people uh, that are um, uh, finding uh, new ways, uh, new techniques, uh, new technologies. Uh, so that we can optimize the way we do farming, um, especially, I guess, specializing on, on farming like here in Kenya and in this region. Um, but when we do the linkages between uh, the Norwegian know-how and the Kenyan know-how, I'm sure that there's a lot of um, uh, good that can come out of that uh, cooperation. We are now going to partner with the, the C one CGR through ILRI that uh, they will be able to support the government to map the entire country and know the type of soils that we have. Once we have that information about our soils, all that will be stored in a database which will be shared to the farmers when they want to start planting. Which crop do they want to plant? They need to interrogate that information and say, if I'm planting sunflower, then what type of fertilizer do I need to use? So all this, the farmer will be able to know when they go to the agrovet, they are able to buy the right fertilizer to use for the right kind of crops. It is through research is through soil mapping that we're able to know. Without that, it will be very difficult. Moving on, environmental conservationist in Washington.